Hello friends, this question is from the subject of network in, this, in, the, in the topic of network solution methodology. It's a one more question. In the question, we have a register network with a variety of values 1.5 ohm, 2 ohm and, and 2 ohm. There is one dependent source of 0.5 ampere and there is an independent source of 10 volt. So, we need to calculate the find out the value of I. It's not I1, it is I only. Okay, we will find out the value of I. So we can see that in the network we have a 0.5 ohm resistor which is in series with a parallel combination of these three components in which the two are resistor 2 ohm parallel with 2 ohm with parallel of 0.5 ohm. So if I can simplify this resistor because I know that the 2 ohm parallel with 2 ohm is nothing but a 1 ohm. So I can replace this 2 ohm resistor with a 1 ohm resistor because these 2 ohm are a parallel so I can simplify this network and redraw it as like this. One five ohm, one ohm. And there are dependent source of zero point five i. Ten volt. Okay. So now you can see that going to question. The current across this 5.15 ohm is I. The, of the current of the dependent source is 0.5 I. So if you may apply the KVL at KCL at this point, you can see that the incoming currents are 0.I and the outgoing current of one branch is 0.5 I. So in the other branch, the current should be 0.5 I moving out. Because according to KVL, the sum of the incoming current is equal to the sum of the outgoing current. Total incoming current is I and outgoing current of one branch is only 0.5i so remaining 0.5i should be go to the other branch to satisfy the KVL at this node the current across this one ohm resistor is 0.5i so now if I can apply the KCL at this loop 1 so it will be 10 because in the direction of the current we always assume the sign as plus minus plus and minus so if I may choose the sign of the end sign this minus is the the initial sign this plus is the end sign if I may choose the sign of the end sign of this loop in the KVL whatever uh, what we do we always apply a sign convention which you can do according to yourself like I what I do in the direction of the current I always draw plus and minus and then you need to take uh, the signs either a incoming sign or an exit sign so now here I am taking the exit sign so 10 10 exit sign of the battery Exit sign of the register is plus minus, it is minus the exit sign, plus the entering sign, 10 minus 0.5 i. Now here again, entering sign is plus, exit sign is minus, I am taking the exit signs, so minus 0.5 i is equal to 0. You can simplify this network, so my i will be come out at 10 ampere. So current of the circuit is 10 ampere, so in this question, my correct option is option D. D is my correct option. Thank you.